I wanted to try out a new Chromebook, so I picked up one from HP. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this Chromebook because I really like Chromebooks for doing light work on my lap. So many laptops these days actually don't fit well on your lap. And for a lot of us, the work we're doing is just pretty light work. Responding to emails, doing some documents online, maybe reviewing some information on a website. So many applications now are web-based. It's really easy to actually use a Chromebook for a lot of work. What we get here in this box is some setup instructions. We also get down here, it looks like the power cable. And that's really all you need for most Chromebooks. It's just the laptop itself and then the power cable. Looks like we get that sausage shaped USB-C cable right there. It looks like it's gonna be pretty long. And then the second piece is the three prong power cable that plugs in here this is kind of a hefty power cable for most laptops i like when they're just a charging brick that plugs directly into the outlet and then this is the chromebook and i believe this is a new for 2021 or at least the latest version so i am hoping that it is optimized for the latest version of chrome os now it is a dark plastic texture here so it's got a matte finish so it doesn't show my fingerprints that easily i can slide it around there obviously this is a pretty glossy HP logo right there and pretty slim it's got a nice shape to it you can see that it's got kind of this contour line up here even though it's this thick right up there got that Chromebook logo right there and then on the reverse side we have little rubber feet which stick down just a little bit so that'll give you a little bit of traction you can see the grills on the sides there same gray plastic front and back and this one isn't that big one foot across so nice small compact size i think this will be a good laptop buddy and it's just one of those things where it's small it's light they tend to be kind of durable you know i think a lot of chromebooks are used in schools or work environments so they tend to be pretty durable it's just kind of something i can grab quickly with a long battery life and like i said stay productive while i'm watching a movie or watching tv maybe on the road now if i open it up just like this what i do like is that the laptop seems to be weighted just enough so that I don't have to use both hands to open this up. So I can just open up the hinge on the top here. You see we have little rubber strips here to prevent it from impacting the lower part of the chassis. You can see the pretty big bezel that we have surrounding the matte finished screen it looks like. Webcam right up here and microphone. So the screen isn't huge and it is just about a foot diagonally. So obviously a pretty big bezel. It's not the most important thing to me there but it probably would be nice to have like an edge to edge screen, kind of get the maximum size of the screen for the footprint of the computer, but that's not that big of a deal, especially for a computer that's not gonna be my everyday, all the time computer. An island style keyboard down here, it looks pretty nice. It's all kind of black plastic, again, with that matte textured finish, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints on it. We have arrow keys over here and the power button right up here. And then we also have a pretty decent trackpad. It's probably about the size of uh, a MacBook Air in terms of width, but in the height, it's a little bit shallower. And this is Intel inside. I think it's a Celeron processor. Again, that matte plastic is in the inside here. You can see the seam where it kind of insets into the chassis down here. So again, nothing about this screams like super high quality. It's certainly not a MacBook type of construction, but I do like the fact that it's just kind of a more ruggedized construction than anything else. If you look on the sides here, we have a headphone jack, three and a half millimeter SD card slot, a USB port right there, and then the USB-C port for charging it up right there. And then on this side, we have another USB port right there. So you can put in a jump drive and then it looks like the USB-C port right there and then a hole for the locking. So now we're going to charge this up, try it out, and then I'll give you my thoughts on using it. All right, I've been playing around with this Chromebook and overall this thing gets a thumbs up for me. I do wanna explain a couple of the details that I have discovered about it that I like and appreciate and things that I don't like. First of all, it is nice and small and portable and I was using this on the couch on my lap and it's really comfortable. Actually, the flat bottom here is kind of underrated. A lot of laptops create a lot of heat. Maybe the speakers are downward projecting, whatever it might be. There might be some sharp edges, but you never notice that with this. It's super comfortable. Now, the good is that it boots up very quickly. As you can see, it resumes there almost instantaneously. What I've noticed, though, is that it resumes so quickly that sometimes I'll go to the web page and it won't load because the Wi-Fi hasn't connected yet. Now, the Wi-Fi does connect pretty quickly, but I would say that when I turn this on or when I open this up and the screen comes on within a second, 
I would say that it's not uncommon for the Wi-Fi to take two, three, four, five seconds longer to connect. So sometimes it's almost a little misleading that I can get working right away because the Wi-Fi hasn't connected yet. But it does connect pretty quickly, but it just resumes that quickly. I thought I would bring it up. Now, the other thing that I really like about it is that the USB-C ports on both sides will allow this bad boy to charge. So if you have an outlet on your left or your right, you can run the cable directly into the Chromebook from either side. And I've noticed that it charges up and it does charge up pretty quickly. What I also really love about this USB-C is that potentially you don't need to carry around their power brick if you have your own power charging block and a USB-C cord you know you could charge this up anywhere so I love the idea that you aren't beholden to a proprietary charging block on this so that you can just grab this go on the road and if you're not sure that you're going to come back you could probably just borrow a USB-C cable from someone and get it charged up again how long the battery lasts so I was using this and I used it all day and I used it pretty consistently for all the tasks that I needed. My best guess on this is that under a full charge, under normal usage, as an average guy surfing the web, watching YouTube videos, responding to emails, doing document creation and Google Drive, things like that, that this thing will probably last nine hours because I had no trouble running this thing for eight hours pretty continuously. There were times when I closed it up and shut it down, but honestly, I was trying to run this as long as I possibly could. And even though I've been using it for or a pretty good portion of the day already I would say that I'm at like 74% so this has a lot of juice left in it and I love that about the Chromebooks is that they seem to be really energy efficient now one of the things that I will say that I did mention in my initial unboxing is that they're not really maximizing the screen real estate you get a pretty big bezel there I certainly would love to have just a little bit more space you know if you got that extra inch all the way around the screen is just gonna look a lot bigger but in no ways when I was using it did I feel like things were really small if you are doing spreadsheets or things like that I can see that the real estate is going to become a problem but if you are just doing document processing emails and web surfing then I don't think you're gonna have any problem with it now my last gripe about this is the trackpad and my issue with this is it's a pretty standard low-end trackpad I think it's plastic that type of thing but what I noticed is that initially when I was using it it's a little jerky around the finger because it doesn't slide as nice as glass now I don't know what the trackpad is made of here as I have used it and as my finger oils have kind of gotten on it it's been a little easier to drag your finger around and get nice smooth gestures on it but especially when it was new I kind of had that dur -dur 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 jerkiness as your finger is kind of grabbing the material so I really wish that they would put something on the trackpad or there was kind of some standardization to the trackpad materials to give them a nice smooth feeling but I get again a little bit low rent and that's really the point of this Chromebook here is that at $230 it's a really good value get a lot for it and they save money by giving you kind of a low-end plastic chassis here which seems to be pretty durable and allows me not to worry about it and the thing that matters most to me is that the Chromebook is speedy, that it's not laggy, that it doesn't feel like an afterthought, and that I'm not waiting for responses on clicks and sliding and dragging and dropping and typing and those types of things, and I didn't have a problem with this. This is really one of the reasons I wanted to go with a 2021 model, just to make sure with the current version of Chrome OS that it would run pretty smoothly, and so far I've been really happy with this. It's really been pretty easy to use. So if you don't mind some of these trade-offs, to get a Chromebook at a really good affordable price point, then I think you're gonna like this one. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.